Just a reminder guys, One Path have a free app where you can have access to thousands of premium videos with a personalized feed and prayer notifications. Download it in the link below. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. <laughs> It's been hit in the news that a dangerous Indian COVID variant is on the loose and it has now reached the United States and Europe as well. Some of you may be wondering how on earth this even happened. But those of you that know about the ongoings of Modi's India, Mr. Donald Trump, you won't be too surprised. Must you think what you say? In fact, you know, it was only a matter of time. I mean, have a look over here. You've got people so close in trains that I'm pretty sure they're related now. Hey, as long as they got the magic masks on, right? Number two, you've got Hindus here dipping in contaminated waters in their thousands. Say what? Number three, you've got government officials that are prescribing yoga, drinking cow piss and cow dung. Indian leaders claim to have a cure to coronavirus. Yogi Adityanath has said that it can be cured by practicing yoga regularly. Another BJP MLA claimed that cow urine and dung can cure the virus. <laughs> What? Now on the other hand, you've got an Indian political party who organized some sort of tea party, but they replaced the tea with cow piss. And the irony is, they end up getting COVID themselves. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath contracts coronavirus. If that's not enough, flinging cow poo at each other in celebration of their New Year's Day. So this is where germs are born. <laughs> I don't think these guys are going to live long enough to see the New Year. Plus, it solved the conundrum of where Modi got all of his votes from. Talking of Modi and co, the people in power aren't exactly setting the best of examples either. Seen as Prime Minister Modi is from a Hindu nationalist and extremist background, his leadership has seen a rise in Islamophobia. Muslims are being targeted publicly for eating beef, blamed for Corona, the autonomous rights of the Muslim majority Kashmir being taken and publicly berated and bullied. While all this is happening, the rest of the world remains silent because of the economical interests that they have invested within India. I mean, just consider the news coverage of the Muslims on the left and the Hindus on the right in relation to Corona. Ah, thank God for that. That solved everything now, yeah? I thought, you know what, this Indian variant is gonna run rampant. But thank God this bloke is here to tell Corona to do one, innit? So yeah, even though Muslims have been complaining about the unfair treatment in India and the world watches silently, well, silence overall has a price. It's easy to say, oh, it's only that group, yeah? It's the Muslims, or it's the Blacks, or it's the Mexicans. But the thing with hate is, it never stops. It will always transcend barriers to look for more people to target unless it is quashed. So now the world is paying the price because India as a nation can't be ignored because alongside China, it makes up half of the world's population. So its actions affect us. Propagating the drinking of cow urine to cure COVID-19. Okay, it's okay. only the BJP and its allies who are doing that. And listen to me! Not us. Stop arguing like a fool! So next time you guys see hate, educate yourselves and others about the ongoings of whatever hate it is because you never know. It might be too late when it finally reaches your door. Flouting every COVID norm possible. Corona, go. This is a very disturbing picture, sir. Go, Corona. Corona, go. Corona, go. Let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>